too crazy for doing it, but hey, you got to get out there and you got to start at some point. Hit a little cold snap here in Tennessee, and uh, I'm just going up here. I don't have a trailer. I'm in my little car, so uh, I ain't got my lawnmower or my trailer or anything like that. I'm going to bum off of Nathan the whole time. He's going to enjoy it because I'm here to help. So Nathan, 2017. Here we are. What do you think about the season so far? Nothing. Gotta put some gas in it. Got to put some gas in it. So far it's looking real good. Yeah. peeps of YouTube. This is old Ralph. We got done there just a little bit ago. I'm on my way back to my house and day went pretty good. Have you ever noticed if you got a beard and you like to like stroke it? You stroke your beard or something. I don't know why. Anyhow, day went pretty good. Mowed a couple of yards. Got you a little bit of footage on that. Nothing spectacular. I think you've seen this yard before, but uh, got it mowed down pretty pretty much clean up on two of them for the start of the season. People starting to call us a little bit more and more, and uh, hopefully next week we're going going at it and having a lot more to do. Just slowly going as we as we creep into the springtime. But you know Nathan's excited from the footage that you saw earlier. And uh, I'm pretty.
pretty excited too. I'm ready to get out there and enjoy this spring and summer weather, doing some yard work. And I don't think there's anybody that don't watch this channel that don't like to get out there and uh, make a little money and do a little yard work and enjoy the weather. You see some crazy stuff. But uh, figured I'd do a little bit of story time with you since this video is sort of short. See if y'all like it. If you don't, leave it in the comment section down below and I won't do it again. If you do like it, let me know and I'll try to come up with some more crazy stories of me and Nathan out and about and doing some wild stuff. But, well, this wasn't really wild. It was just sort of my idiocy come back to bite me in the, uh, the back side of the area there. So what happened is, Andy from Cut and Clean called said, hey man, I can't get my mower blades off. And I was like, coming at you, Andy. I'm gonna help you out, man. So I hopped in the vehicle, me and Nathan, we took off that way. I got out of the truck, walked up to Andy. He had his, he had his mower, you know, his, uh, his little walk behind there. He didn't have the uh, gravel yet. He had that thing propped up. Had some sure cans propping it up was what got me. And he said, man, I can't get my blades off, brother. I was like, hey, I got you on this. I took his blades off with the beard. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that wasn't the story. But uh, it was a bunch of bull. Uh, me and Andy was going on the other day on Instagram, just carrying back and forth, uh, making fun of the beard a little bit because he had to shave. And I've got this glorious mane on my face. Uh, but, but the real story is, uh, me and Nathan was out mowing last year, and I'm quite lazy sometimes, you know. When uh, you know you're going to have to weed deep this certain area, but you're like, I can get my mower in there. And I'm gonna mow that down instead of having to weed eat. So it's the same thing with picking up sticks. You don't want to pick up sticks. Gosh, it slows you down. You don't want to do that stuff in the middle of summer and you've got 10 yards to do. And I didn't. And I started mowing over the sticks thinking I can mulch these up and turn them into littler sticks. I won't have to pick them up. So started mowing the sticks mower started like rocking back and forth doing some crazy stuff you know it just wasn't my mower I, it was pretty much brand new i had like 60 hours on it there nothing should be messing up on this mower and cut my pto off smooths out okay i kill it prop my mower up get under a look at my deck look at my belt, trying to see if there's a chunk out of my belt, you know, all that stuff. And I'm like, I can't find it. I'm like, maybe it's a ghost. So, I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to finish this yard. I'm going to load it back up with Nathan and we'll head back to the mower man. He can check it out. Hopefully nothing messes up. The second mistake was that right there. So, I went to the backyard bought my PTO, started shaking again. I was like, it's gotta be something with that bell. So, just mow the yard real slow and, you know, make it all pretty and stuff. Nathan was weed eating, he finished up the weed eating. He knew what was going on at the time. And he's like, well, as soon as we get done, we'll head back. Cause we was right in the middle of the day. Had like eight or nine properties to do. And uh, it just sort of puts a hindrance on having to run back to the mower shop to try to get your stuff fixed in the middle of the day because you don't know what's going on. Well, got done with the mowing in the backyard, started driving out the gate, popped off my PTO, my, well, my belt on my mower, my drive belt for my PTO, pow! Broke. And scared the ever-living hoo-hoo out of me. And I was like, what in the world happened? I was like, it must have been a weak spot in that belt. So I pulled it off and it, you know, it looked wore on that little spot. And I was like, that's probably what it was, wore spot on my belt. Maybe that's under warranty when I go back. So I went back, it wasn't under warranty. Had to buy a $80 belt because they're not cheap. They're not cheap. 
That's why I don't have another one right now, but I'll get to that in a minute. But we got back to the mower man. We pulled up a schematic of how to put the PTO belt back on. Looked at another mower he had there to make sure we could put it on right. Got out there, took the tools, yada, yada, yada. Fixed everything. Started putting the belt back on. And at the very back, if you know anything about Ferris's, there's a pulley system that drops down from the engine. And that's your... PTO belt drive, you know, pulley right there. So, lo and behold, in that little pulley, a stick had went up from the belt around the pulley system and cut off a chunk and squished it into the pulley. Well, it had run on that pulley for so long, and I'd say it was like 20 minutes, maybe 25 at the most. And it had made it slicker than glass. We had to like take a chisel and a hammer and pop it out to get that piece out. And you know, it was rocking back and forth on there. And I think that is what happened to it. I'm pretty positive that's what happened to it. Because when it got slicked down like glass, the edges of that piece of wood was like a razor blade. And I think when I hit my PTO, bell come around, caught you know, it rocked back just a little bit, caught that belt just perfect, cut it right in half, and scared the poo out of me, like I said. The moral to the story is, don't be lazy. Keep you a spare belt, which I still don't have a spare belt, so you think I would learn from my mistakes, but I haven't yet. And uh, pretty much know that your mower man's gonna be there to help you out to fix your mower. <laughs> But I was going, well, I ain't going to do a second story. I think that's going to be it on this video, guys. If you did like the story time and you like this video, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you like the story time with r and in here. And uh, maybe we'll throw out some more stuff, maybe some more interesting stuff. I just thought that it was on my mind all day, and I thought it was sort of funny. And there, there's a little bit of a moral to it of not being lazy. And I just wanted to throw that in there about uh, me and Andy talking on Instagram the other day. There goes my phone again every time I make a video. I don't get it. <sighs> Anyhow, <laughs> leave me a comment down below. Uh, you know, let me know if you like the little story time with the moral and all that stuff. If you did, let me know that you want to hear more of it. If you didn't, send me some good vibes anyway. Uh, you know, nothing bad. Come on then. And uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, number one, it's 100% free. Number two, you're 50% more attractive when you watch my videos. Three, you're 100% more attractive when you subscribe to me. What else can you ask for? Until next time, guys. We'll catch y'all after a moment.